G'day everyone, I'm Smokescreen and welcome back to another video and as you can probably tell already this is something completely different today. I just thought I'd put together a little bit of a channel update. So I haven't done one of these before so we'll see how we go and we'll see if I can get it all in one take. But I've just got some housekeeping and some things coming up that I thought I'd run through and sort of let everyone know what's going on with this old Smokescreen channel here. So, first of all, um, I want to go through the social medias because I don't feel like I push that enough, so I'm going to put it out here now. Um, I'm on plenty of social media, actually. I've got Instagram, which I'm on a lot. Um, I've got Twitter, which I'm on basically every day. Um, I am on Reddit, too. I don't really go on Reddit that much, though, but you'll know me if you see me on there. And lastly, we've got a new one, Discord. Now, first of all, it's not my server. I've actually... Bit of a funny story here, actually. I've sort of struck up a bit of a camaraderie between uh, myself and a fellow racer, ASR Atom. So I have actually raced him, and he's been in my videos before. And you may have probably, you may have come from his Twitch, actually. Um, hello to all all the Atom fans who have have joined me on my journey. But basically, he's really been pushing me. He really wants me to succeed, and that just it just means a lot. Um, I, I don't know, just. Every time I go on there, he's just got awesome things to say about my content, and it's just, uh, I don't know, it just makes my day. It just makes me so happy. Um, but in line with that, he has he has his own Discord, and on that Discord, he has set up a channel on there called Smock's Channel. So that's me, Smock, that's his nickname for me. Um, Smock's Channel, um, he set me up as the moderator for it. I can control anything in there. So we've actually got our own section in Atom's Discord where we can do anything to do with my channel so I can promote myself in there, we can talk about my videos, talk about whatever. Um, memes, they're all good in there. You're free to chat in there. Um, no slow mode. Um, of course, it's subject to Atom's rules, but they're all fairly they're all fairly straightforward. If you've been in a Discord before, you probably know all the rules. Um, and you are free, of course, to go throughout the Discord and go through all Atom's channels, but mainly the Smokescreen stuff is for my channel in there. You'll see it. It's under a YouTube section in that Discord called Smok's channel, and you're free to chat away in there. And again, yes, you're free to go through all of the Discord. He's set this open. Anybody can join. It's just if you've got Smokescreen stuff specifically, we've got our own channel in there. But otherwise, feel free to mingle amongst the Discord and get to know everybody. There's some very good names in there and a lot of Oceania names that I race a lot. Um, so that's the first thing. Um, the next thing kind of connected is I've got a couple of shout outs. Um, I, I, don't, I sort of don't really know how to return the favour of a shout out because as a pretty small channel for me, a shout out by even somebody remotely larger means so much because the amount of traffic that I gain from a shout out from someone with a lot of followers is just, uh, uh, I don't know, it just it really helps me out and I sort of don't know how to repay it but I think the best thing I can do is just by expressing my thank for that so first off the big one Mr. MCA so you may know him he does a lot of guides here on YouTube he's got about 13,000 subscribers on YouTube and he actually shouted me out the other day and the way he got to know about me was actually in Atom's Twitch I posted something on my Twitter the other day like I said, go and follow me on there, of course. And he shouted me out on Twitter to his 1,600 followers or thereabouts. And that gained me about 20 subs in a day. So massive thank you to Mr. MCA. And I'm sure you've all heard about him. And a lot of you have probably come from the shout out from him. Uh, but if you haven't, do go and check him out. Mr. MCA on YouTube. That's M-I-S-T-A-H and then space the letters M-C-A. He does guides for daily races, FIA, and sort of all the competition, track guides, strategy guides, the cars you want to use. He goes through everything for you, and it's actually a massive help to the GT community. And that's sort of all I've got. I've got no real other way to sort of return the favour, but I, all I can say is thank you, Mr. M-C-A, for that. It's really helped me out. The next one I've got is Inksile. Inksile GTR, he's on YouTube. I'll pop him up now. I don't I don't really talk to him that much anymore, but he was the first sort of person that sort of took me under his wing. He invited me to his Discord and I got to know a load of guys in his Discord. That was my first big confidence boost. That really, you know, seeing he wanted me to do well, he 
you know, he told me countless times I deserved a lot more subs than I have. And it just, it just really means a lot. His, I think he's closed his Discord. I, I can't seem to find it anymore. I can't imagine I've been kicked out of it. But it just disappeared from me one day. And he's in a different one, but there's a lot more people in there. And it's mainly to do with his racing team. So I don't mingle too much with him anymore. But just for that... That, those few months where he did take me under his wing to start off with and gave me a little bit of traction and gave me a good handful of subs and you know he really wants to see me do well so I guess if you're watching I I really do appreciate the the confidence and sort of shout out and sub boost you gave me from day one it really means a lot and you know I, we don't talk as much anymore but I still appreciate everything you did for me and I, I still jump in occasionally I still have good chats but yeah I just thought I'd chuck that in there because I don't really talk to him much anymore and it's a little bit you know I, I definitely feel like I needed to express my true appreciation for that the last one I have is for Scotty he's actually what he's done is over the last couple of months is he's gone right to the back right back to the start of my channel the very very start of my channel where it all began and he's watched my my channel all the way through every single one of my videos he's watched 140 something 150 videos or something he's watched all of it liked and commented and left a lengthy comment on basically most of them probably 80 percent of them he's spent the time he's watched the video and left a nice comment for me and he caught up he got up to date the other day and he sent me a email um, to my business email account down in the description right at the bottom you'll see it um, he sent me an email and just expressed his appreciation for the content that I do and it may that may seem like something so little but to me having logged on and seeing all those videos ages and ages ago like two years ago that I put all the effort in to get out for no audience basically um, I think one one video was stuck at two views and I think they were both me for a long long time So that just sets an example of the kind of traffic I used to get and the fact that all those old videos that I put all that effort in for basically no one years ago finally getting some love and I had this viewer Scotty who Put the time in to watch it and enjoy it for what it was He didn't complain about the lack of quality or the crap thumbnail or whatever He just said really good racing nice to see clean racing sort of thing He comment on the race make a joke about it I don't know just every time I would log on to my analytics There'd be three four five six new comments from him and it would just It, it just makes my day you know just little stuff like that and I basically just wanted to take the time to say, you're probably watching, in fact. Thank you so much, Scotty, for all your comments and your email. It was, it's absolutely wonderful. And I, I can definitely start to see that YouTube and this creation of a little community I've got going that will get bigger and bigger as I do more. It really makes it worth it. And it just means so much. It means so much. It really does. So thank you so much for that. But anyway, let's get away from the squishy, soppy stuff now. Let's move on to some more closer channel-related stuff. So, I've actually got something quite big in terms of the channel lined up. And I've sort of dropped hints here and there. If you've seen me around in live streams or whatever, um, I've dropped hints. But I've actually, I'm actually got this on the road. In fact, I've bought basically most... I think I've got all of the equipment I need to get it started... Um, but there are a couple of luxuries that I don't quite have yet, but I don't need so I can start basically any time I want This is something I mentioned way at the very start of my channel I've got an introducing myself video as my first video just to let everyone know what I'm all about And I did mention in there that streaming was going to become a part of the channel at some point in the future Now this is where I'm actually going to say that I set myself quite lofty heights in terms of when I was going to start streaming um, I've never actually revealed this before, but I had in my mind I'm gonna start streaming when I can enable monetization on my channel and that is at 1,000 subs and 4,000 total views on your channel and That that's sort of what I had set in my mind for a while But then I sort of got into YouTube and I sort of realized You know if you're setting goals based on having money on YouTube It's not really going to be a very healthy and successful place for you. I've also so I've also seen that the growth of other similar channels has basically uh, zero impact 
well, has basically zero indication of what your channel will do. I've found that my channel has had very, very slow growth compared to other channels of similar nature. Um, I've seen some channels blow up to a thousand subs in less than a year with the pretty much the same content as me. I think it's all about just how long. I think my videos are too long to start off with and I can see that now, but I've sort of gotten past all that. I've gotten over my goals. I, I'm just doing my videos as I want to do them now. And in line with that, I think I want to introduce streaming pretty soon. Now, there are a couple of caveats with that. I don't think I'm going to be streaming Gran Turismo Sport FIA races, and I don't even think I'm going to be streaming Gran Turismo Sport to start off with. But I have purchased equipment, and I'm going to run through very quickly the equipment I have bought. I've bought a, uh, I've bought an Algado. Elgato? An Elgato HD60S game capture card. So that works for PlayStation 4 and I assume PlayStation 5. It is not directly compatible with PlayStation 3, but there are workarounds. You could split your HDMI signal, I've seen, and have it work for PlayStation 3. And that's mainly what I'm going to go with to start off with. The other bit of equipment I've bought is... Actually, I'll run through that in a second because it rolls into my next point, but it's mainly the Elgato. I've bought the Elgato and I can now set up streaming with it. Um, what I want to do is to get used to streaming first before going all out with everything to it because I've never done it before. I've never touched an OBS program. I've, I've not done anything to do with streaming before. So I want to get used to it before I get really involved with it. And what I'm going to do to start off is I hope to stream some sort of simpler games, let's say. Um, I do want to start off with PlayStation 3. The way I've got my gaming and video editing sort of set up laid out at the moment, it makes it very difficult to connect my PlayStation 4 to my PC in terms of sort of streaming or recording content directly because it's basically on the other side of the room and there's not really much I can do to change that because of very limited space I've got at the moment. Um, but I can set up my PlayStation 3 very, very close to my PC. In fact, it's on my desk directly next to my PC. So I've got that. So I want to start with PlayStation 3. And I've got, you know, a couple of games, a couple of different games that I actually want to try, of course. Um, Gran Turismo 6 is probably the biggest one. that will be a pretty good one to have um, to supplement my content. I've also got some other left-of-field games that I enjoy or have enjoyed in my childhood and I want to get back into. Um, Driver San Francisco, Just Cause 2, um, that's for PlayStation 3. I've also got Just Cause 3 and 4 for PlayStation 4. And Mo Motorstorm, Motorstorm games, the original one and, and Pacific Rift. I played all those games when I was a kid and I would love to get back into them and just share a little bit of that passion with you. And mainly those streams would probably be more chatting with me while I play the game as opposed to really focus on the gameplay as I do in my videos um, but yeah that's what I want to start off with and I'm going to probably try and work towards that pretty soon um, of course I do want to get over to the PlayStation 4 for some streaming because I also have games on there that I'd love to play um, I actually got really into Bus Simulator um, Bus Simulator 18, I think it was called, for the PlayStation 4. You know, you connect your wheel to it. It's like you're driving a bus in cockpit view. You pick up passengers or whatever. I think that'd be really good for a good laid-back, just relaxing stream, just driving around the city, um, completing bus routes, of course. That would be really good. So I do want to get over to the PlayStation 4, but I'm going to have to work out how to actually make that work with my setup because it will be very difficult to set up a stream with how my current setup is because yeah it makes it difficult with the rig like the gaming rig with the wheel to get it close to my pc and be comfortable so that's why that hasn't quite worked out yet um but we will try to move towards that as i get more uh, as i get more experience with streaming there is also a new game coming out completely unrelated to anything i do currently and I don't have no idea why, but it's really piqued my interest, and I'm so interested in actually getting it and trying it out. The game called Stray, you may have heard of it. Um, it's coming for the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, um, and I'm going to be purchasing that, and I think I'd love to make that a stream series. So, that's basically what's going on. Uh, I will be purchasing a PlayStation 5 at some point, because we, of course, do have Gran Turismo 7 coming, and I do not want to be stuck with the very probably limited 
let's say, PlayStation 4 variant of that game, I will be getting a PlayStation 5 for Gran Turismo 7, and I'll probably be getting Stray for PlayStation 5 there as well. Right, so that's what's going on. Um, I was going to say briefly before my next piece of equipment, but that has rolled into my next point. Face reveal. Am I going to be revealing my face on a stream? The answer is yes, but no. I think at the very start I'm probably not going to, but if I find that I'm pretty comfortable streaming, I'll probably introduce a face camera pretty quickly. Um, but what I was going to say before is that I actually have purchased a webcam. I've got it in my hand right now. You can probably hear the crackling of the receipt that's taped to it. I've got a Logitech Streamcam Graphite, I think. Having a look here. Yes, Logitech Streamcam Graphite I purchased because it was on sale and I happened to see it when I was in the shop. So I've actually purchased that and, you know, I... If I find that I'm pretty comfortable with streaming, like I said, I'll probably introduce a face camera pretty quickly. Um, but if not, I might come up with another use for it, or I might just keep it in the box until I do get more comfortable. But the point being is, don't expect to see my face on the very first stream I do, or the first handful of streams I do. Um, but the equipment is there, uh, it's a good camera. It is there, and it is ready to be introduced. And even if I don't do a face reveal, I could somehow incorporate this camera into other, uh, you know, in other aspects of my content creation, you know, like a hand cam or something. I could have it facing the wheel with me, and you can see my hand controls on the wheel. Maybe that, maybe that could be a good alternative, but we'll have to see how that goes. Um, so that's pretty much everything. Um, I'm going to run through a little... Uh, I'm going to run through quite quickly, however, sort of what my plan is, basically, for um, time to come, let's say, for the channel. So, I will touch on a little bit quickly. I don't have an actual set schedule for my videos, so you may see some weeks I have three videos, and then I may go two weeks without anything. Um, that's mainly to do with my work. I work full-time, basically. I'm two hours short of being classified as full-time at my workplace, and that takes up a lot of my time. That pays the bills. Uh, you know, that, that pays the bills. That gives me my holidays, you know, that, that has to come first, and, you know, there have been, I will admit now, there have been times where I have called in, not sick on the day, but I have put in days for leave in order to do races on Gran Turismo, and I haven't actually done that this season, because I kind of came to realise I don't want to be that guy that just shoves work to the side when I need to be going to work instead of playing a game, because at the end of the day, if I consume my entire existence with a game, I'm going to grow to hate it and I don't want to do that so work comes first so if that takes up a lot of my time that it is what it is I'm sorry if I'm at work all day and absolutely knackered I'm not gonna make a video like sorry I, I'm not gonna burn myself out to try and get content out that doesn't pay me for my time so that that is what it is I'm afraid um, I think if and that sort of ties in with the streaming. If I am have a long day at work, it might be easier for me to stream because that doesn't really require too much effort. Whereas a video, you have to play the game and then you've got to copy all the files, you've got to edit it, record a voiceover, make sure it's all right, get some memes in there. That does take time. Render, upload, create a thumbnail. There's heaps to do. File, organization on my hard drive, there's all that to do too. Whereas a stream, I can just chuck up the stream, play the game and turn off the stream when I'm done and that's it. That's the content complete. So I think that's another reason why I want to introduce streaming as well. FIA season is good because I will do as many of the FIA races as I can. Daily races in there to supplement and uh, the, which the introduction of streaming, some other games in there as well. But that's basically it. Um, about 20 minutes so far. That's about how long I wanted this to be anyway. But that's basically it for the channel update there. Thank you very much for listening. And I hope that you have a bit of a better idea of what this channel is going to be all about. Bit of a different video here, but I'm glad for everyone that's still listening that you made it to the end. So to get a bit more of an idea about what I do. But that's going to wrap up this video today. So even if you... Even if this is not the video that you were expecting, if you did enjoy it, please do hit the like button. And please subscribe if you are really interested in what I've got to come for the future. 
But that's going to round up this video today, and that means that is it from me. So once again, I do thank you very much for watching. See you later.